Okay, I got the car all packed. Um, we're gonna go check out a spot that's been on my radar for a couple years now. Um, I initially found it looking for a winter spot, uh, warm water outflow that I could fish in the winter. Um, unfortunately, I can't get access close enough to cast to the warm water outflow. It's, it's over 200 yards away from where I can cast from. So it's not feasible as a winter spot, but it has a lot of ingredients that I think would make it a good uh, big fish spot and uh, potentially a number spot as well. So that's always good to have something like that under your hat. So unfortunately, uh, since I've been there last uh, in the years past uh, on my scouting, uh, the shoreline is pretty much completely gone. Lake Ontario's up in the neighborhood of three feet, so the shoreline's gone. Uh, casting is going to be difficult, uh, but I think the high water is actually going to make this more of an attractive spot for the fish. So, um, my goal today isn't to get a fish, but uh, if it happens, that's great. Uh, but ideally, today I want to get out there, cut down some trees, um, and kind of build it up to a swim that uh, I can share with uh, some of my close friends and uh, hopefully put some decent fish on the bank. So uh, I'm kind of excited. I get to use some equipment that I don't use very often. Uh, I got my marker float. Uh, I got some some spawed rods and stuff. My, most of my fishing is generally margin fishing, so it's kind of exciting to incorporate some of these tools. And uh, some actual tools as well, so. Uh, Gonna start the car, head on out there, and uh, I'll touch base with you when we get there. Okay, we're here, and it's tight. We're gonna make our way in here, try to get ourselves enough room for a back cast, and uh, figure things out. Okay, I've been casting around for maybe half an hour now. Um, I'm fairly certain I'm going to be fishing in tight. Um, there's like a, almost a defined wall of weeds uh, about 30 yards out. And uh, I don't really want to have to deal with that if I hook into a nice fish. Um, inside of that, um, there's a nice hard bottom, and uh, it's about seven or eight feet deep. And uh, in my previous scouting uh, trips out here, that's pretty much where I've seen the fish surface. So um, I'm gonna hope that it's some sort of a patrol route for the fish. Uh, I'm gonna get some bait down, get my rig out and uh, sit back and uh, hope for something good to happen. Okay, I've confirmed enough things with the marker float and the lead and visually uh, to know this is definitely a spot that I'm gonna wanna put some more time into. Uh, two hours wasn't enough. Um, the current wasn't as much of a, a feature as I thought it was gonna be, so I'm probably gonna have to make a couple of trips here and uh, spot out some corn on a more regular basis before I, I put in some more effort uh, if, I, if I'm going to expect to catch a fish uh, 
as quickly as I as I want to. Um, two hours wasn't enough. I'm gonna have to make some trips out here, spot in some bait, and uh, hopefully we can pull out uh, something large out of here, which I, I think is a definite possibility. So uh, I'm gonna pack up for now, slow pack up. I'm gonna hit a spot on the way home that I've been baiting uh, a little more frequently, and hopefully I can just get myself uh, a quick fish and. Uh, just finish the day on a high note and revisit this when I when I have more time and uh, I've put a little more effort in advance uh, building up the swim. I'm gonna put in some bait there today and then the next couple days and hopefully do some shorter sessions uh, over top of the pre-baited spot. I feel there's a lot of features here that will concentrate the fish uh, body of water behind me is Lake Ontario. It's uh, it's about 19,000 square kilometers of water surface area and uh, you know just with the naked eye it seems quite featureless so uh, anytime you can get some of these features that I've found uh, I have a current spot uh, I have some, uh, some smaller beach stone I have some uh, uh, some weed mats uh, I have some natural bait in the area, uh, the, the warm water outflow, uh, and the list goes on. And I just feel there's a lot of reasons for the fish to come in here. So uh, I, uh, I hope to get them on my bait uh, by doing some regular baiting over the next couple of days. And then uh, hopefully put together uh, a neat little video um, when this is all said and done. Uh, you know, I've come across fishing uh, areas in somewhat nearby with similar features I've done really well so I hope that I can do the same here uh, in the other spots I've come across um, some nice uh, incidental catches uh, over the last year or so so uh, I don't anticipate there to be uh, a large concentration of mere carp or anything in here I'm just hoping for a good average size and uh, the possibility of some incidental catches as well uh, are quite interesting. Anyways, with that being said, uh, I'm just going to put in the bait here. I'm not going to fish it today. Uh, I feel like it's going to take a couple of uh, visits with the bait to, to really get the fish to concentrate on this area. So I have some other places uh, closer to home that I've been baiting and uh, you know I'm going to try to maybe nick a quick fish and uh, you know get my fix uh, on my way home. So uh, with that being said, I'm going to go throw in the bait and uh, hopefully pull in some decent fish in the weeks to come. Okay, uh, this is going to be my first time here fishing over some bait. Uh, I was here I think three days ago. I put in about 20 pounds of corn. Then two days ago I put in another 20 pounds of corn. And then yesterday I put in about 40 pounds of corn. Uh, so this will be the first day here uh, fishing over the bait. Um, I've only got just under three hours to, to see what I can make happen today. Um, I'm just going to keep things simple. Um, 90 gram lead with uh, some scent on it and then a pineapple pop-up on, on a Ronnie rig. And uh, I'm not going to do any pack bait or anything today. I'm just going to hope that the fish have found the bait and are coming back and picking up the odd piece and uh, just to supplement their, their diet uh, moving forward. Uh, so if anything happens today, uh, it's a bonus. Uh, this is uh, you know kind of an extension of my scouting of this area. Um, there's so many things about this spot that are uh, kind of um, you know taking shots at my confidence like 
this place sounds different, smells different, and looks different than a lot of the places that i fished in the past. So that's why I've gone with the pineapple pop-up. I know it's something that kind of gives me some confidence, and the Ronnie rig kind of gives me some confidence. So uh, I'm just got a bank stick down here. I'm going to cast out and uh, get set up in a second. Uh, the water level, uh, I'm sh you might be able to tell when I get the the camera set up on my rod, but uh, the water level looks looks to be down about two feet uh, from the last time that I fished here uh, in the summer. So uh, I'm still confident that the spots that I marked out and uh, plumbed out uh, earlier in the summer are are still <laughs> are still gonna fish well. Anyways. Lots of surprises in this spot so far. The water's a bit clearer today than it has been as well, so I'm excited for the clear water. I wasn't planning on getting a soaker just yet, but sometimes things don't go always to plan, so anyways, I'm gonna pop out this rig and hope for the best. Okay, I th think I just dropped the fish. Um, bit of a drop back, kind of twitchy thing. Or it's a sheep head or something, I don't know. But uh, makes me feel good that uh, the alarm's going off for the right reasons now, not just floating weed and things. So. Got just over an hour left, so hopefully I can get the, the net wet pretty soon.
feels like a solid fish. It's weeded me up a little bit. It's gonna take my time. Partly the reason why I didn't want to fish at distance. I was hoping to take a lot of these weed beds out of play. Still in the weeds, I'm just gonna have to dig up my prize here. It's a chunky fish. Not very long. It's a solid fish. Alright. solid bodied fish here. He's got a big tail. I think he's been eating mussels. Not bad for the first fish. The baiting, pan, uh, the baiting campaign seems to have paid off. I got my rod back out there. I'm gonna try to get this guy set up for some pictures but uh I really can't complain. It's got some old scars on this side. But he's really a neat looking fish. Deep body, thick. About 22 pounds to start here. I just have to subtract the weight of the sling. But this fish is definitely passing some zebra mussels, so might be something to keep in mind. I might try some monster uh, mussel boilies later in the week. I'm gonna send them back.
Okay, just a little one this time. I uh, was just reaching for my camera. An osprey came down and snatched a fish out of the water. And kind of startled me. And just as the osprey was taken off with his catch, I got mine. So, unfortunately I missed that photo op, but I did land the fish. However small it may be. He's angry though. That's always fun. I'm going to take a quick picture with this guy and uh, send him back on his way. I wasn't expecting two fish today. I'm happy with that. And uh, I feel like this spot deserves some more time. And uh, perhaps I should be sharing it with my friends. Uh, in the area, it seems like everyone is. Uh, been struggling a little bit the last couple weeks and uh, you know it was a bit of a daunting task to take on a new spot when everyone else is kind of blanking but uh, ultimately it seems to have paid off so uh, quick picture and uh, this guy's going back I was uh, down here last on uh, Friday, uh, today's Monday, so it's been, uh, it's been two full days uh, without any bait going into the swim here. Uh, previous to that I put in about 80 pounds of uh, field corn over the course of three days and uh, so being that this is a new swim I hope that now that the fish have cleaned up that bait, uh, hopefully the bottom is fairly clean now. So I'm going to introduce some smaller particle as well with the field corn and uh, hopefully get some more scent down into the uh, down into the the bottom of the of the water body here. And uh, hopefully I can encourage the fish to really get their noses down and hang out for a while. Uh, When I was here on Friday, I managed to get uh, three bites and uh, land two fish. Um, so I'm going to make one little rig change. I feel like the bait was working and the rig was working fairly well, but the one little change I want to make is I had a I had the Ronnie on here with uh, just a little uh, kicker that was trimmed down, and I don't feel like it was. I don't feel like it was putting the proper angle on the bait. So I'm gonna put some shrink tubing on here and hopefully get a, hopefully get a better angle on the on the hook here, a more aggressive angle on the presentation here. And hopefully I won't drop any fish today. Uh, one little surprise from last time is the water was moving quite a bit. Uh, it was moving a lot more than I thought uh, from the boat activity. There's some big rollers. There's some big rollers coming in from the lake today. The water's got a little bit more color. Uh, the, the weather's completely changed. Uh, it totally feels like uh, fall has officially begun. Uh, it's I think it's the 8th of uh, September. It's the 9th. It's the 9th of September today. I uh, I came here last night after work. I got here about 1:30 in the morning, and uh, I wanted to pile the bait in last night for today, but. It's just way too treacherous of a swim to be uh, plodding around here in the dark, so I decided against putting in the bait. So uh, hopefully I can get the fish back on the bait fairly quick, or hopefully they're they're still coming back to this area looking for 
for some of that field corn, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna start off getting the shrink tubing on the running rig and piling in some bait, and uh, hopefully we can get something special today. Be nice to pull a big fish out of here. I feel like this is the type of area that could produce a few big fish for me, so uh, now that I'm starting to land a few fish, it's uh, I'm pretty anxious to get my rig out there. I didn't really like the drop I got on my first cast, and I reeled in and uh, pulled in a whack of zebra mussels here, so the fish I caught on the first day uh, was definitely on the naturals, and I feel like I'm also on the naturals. So I'm going to stick with the uh, pineapple pop-up with the uh, ESP pop-up corn just to keep it more durable. Uh, I'm not going to fish this pile of mussels, but uh, at least I know there's food here for them and uh, hopefully with this, this amount of mussels here maybe I can get into some bigger fish. So I'm going to get this out there and uh, start piling in the particle. It's been a slow morning so far. I just had my first real sign of fish. I think I had a liner, a nice hard liner or something, but it was definitely a fish. Um, I'm hoping that there's some fish in the area now and uh, I've really only got just over an hour left to fish uh, and then I gotta be on my way. So I'm going to put out uh, the last of my bait and uh, hopefully I can encourage the fish that's hanging around my rig right now to keep feeding and uh, hopefully I can make something happen today. Uh, I'm just having a hard time relaxing today. I was really anxious to, to make something happen today and it hasn't happened yet. And uh, I just, uh, I was in a much better frame of mind last time I was here and I was enjoying myself and, um, but who knows, who knows what the secret is to, to get the fish to bite. There's been a bit of an east wind today and I don't know if this spot is necessarily affected by the wind or not, but, uh, a couple more sessions here and hopefully I'll have a better kind of a game plan put together. There's like the weeds are being a little bit of a nuisance today with the waves. Um, I might have to plumb around and find more of a clear spot uh, to fish when it's wavy, but uh, anyways. I'm going to stick to my original plan. I'm just going to put a little more bait in over the spot that I've been working today and uh, hopefully I can encourage this this one fish to, uh, to commit. Uh, not my finest day of fishing ever. Uh, my expectations were up here after doing so well the first day uh, fishing over the bait. Um, unfortunately I didn't get any bait in the last two days. I came in today, conditions look great, my expectations were super high. and um, I think I had one liner and one show so um, I'm not sure what the difference was today, but I didn't catch, so, uh, this spot I still feel has a lot of promise, and I don't mind sitting here and, and blanking so much when I know that the next bite, uh, the next take, uh, could be a 30 pound fish or 40 pound fish or something really special, so, uh, uh I'm gonna try to get back here on Wednesday, um, I, uh, I have some relatives in town from Scotland and uh, I promise to take them out fishing tomorrow. Um, I just have to touch base with them and, and see where they might want to go. Uh, I'm, I'm not coming here. It's, uh, 
it's a little too treacherous and uh, it's a little bit tight for more than one angler so um, hopefully I can get back here later in the week uh, I want to kind of finish this video uh, on a bit of a higher note so either a productive day or you know a larger fish or, or a mirror or something special but uh, as it stands now uh, I gotta go pick up my daughter from school uh, I didn't capitalize on the free time that I had today, but uh, I got some more bait in the swim, and uh, I saw some fish. So, you know, all the all the signs are still okay. Uh, I just didn't do well today, so uh, we'll be back here soon, and uh, hopefully, put an end to this video uh, on a high note. All right. Okay, just a quick update before I start. I did fish yesterday with my relative from Scotland. Uh, managed to get five bites with him and uh, get two carp on the bank uh, overnight. We had a bunch of thunderstorms roll through and it has a way different feel down here today. Mosquitoes are, mosquitoes are on fire, uh, so if the fish are half as hungry as the mosquitoes, then uh, I should make it okay. I've seen fish uh, on the surface already. Uh, the water's a lot calmer today, and uh, and it's clearer as well. And I, my confidence level when the water is clear in a lot of the spots that I fish, the the more confidence I feel. Um, anyways, it has a really good feel to it today. Uh, there's pretty much a straight wind out of the west. Uh, it's pretty much blowing right in my face. Uh, I don't know that it's really going to affect the fishing today, but... Uh, I just hope to get into a couple of fish. I have to, have to leave for work. Uh, in as early as three hours. Uh, but if I push it, I might be able to stay for four hours. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna pop out the rig and uh, hopefully we can put a couple fish on the mat.
was literally on my third spot of corn. And my alarm started kind of getting twitchy. I thought the wind had somehow got a hold of my bobbin or something, but I'm into my first fish. my rig in less than five minutes. Hopefully this is a sign of things to come. Hey puppy. It's a really popular spot for dog walkers to let their dogs jump in and have a swim, so I keep getting these surprises hopping over my bag. Fish number one for the day in the net. Fish number three for this spot for me. Nice clean fish. Mid to upper double. So uh, I'm just gonna unhook them, get the rig back out, and then uh, work on pictures. Just sorting out fish number three for this spot. Like a mid to upper double. Nice clean fish. I'm uh, I'm happy with the, the quality of fish that are coming out of here. Uh, hopefully I can uh, get another fish going on today. Sounds like there's fish on my spot, and uh, it looks I've seen a few fish show. So, and I'm getting a twitchy take right now. Still, so anyways, I'm not gonna end the video here. I think I'm gonna wait for one more fish, and uh, I like this spot. It uh, it's taking some effort, but I'm getting rewarded for the effort, and. Uh, I think that's part of the appeal of uh, exploring new spots and uh, making new swims on your own. Oh.
I may not be getting this fish in. It feels like my line is under a rock or through a weed bed, so I'm just gonna play this slow. Okay, I got the other fish back in the net. Just chilling out while I try to sort this out. I'm still getting head shakes, so. And it's moving, so. I think it's like the first fish I got out of this spot. It's gone through a giant weed bed, so I'm just going to try to keep it gently moving. And then if it locks up again, I'll just have to put the rod back on the pod for a bit. What a difference a day makes. Two days ago, I can't get a sniff. Today, I can't keep my lines in the water. I was afraid spotting up this morning was going to scare the fish, but it hasn't seemed to affect anything so far in a negative light. still might not get this fish in. The big mat of weeds is at, acting like a pivot point and he's fighting below it. So there's probably a lot of extra pressure on the hook hold right now.
<laughs> okay, we got two in the net. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna put the rig back out right now. Uh, I'm gonna sort these fish, <laughs> sort these fish out, and uh, just kind of enjoy the moment. <laughs> Double bubble. <laughs> oh. What an excellent average here. Pushing like 20 pound average here. I'm going to try to get these pictures done. This guy fills the mat. I'm gonna send these guys back. Camera's not cooperating. So I'm just gonna send them on their way. This was the second fish that weeded me up. And this was the first fish that started off this satisfying session. I was checking my hook after releasing that last fish and I had a slight bird to it. I didn't like the point that I got back on the hook with the sharpening stone. So I just put my rig back out with the dull hook. I was going to leave it out there while I was tying up another Ronnie rig. And my line's gone off again. Fish number four. And I haven't even had my line in the water the whole time. I've been busy taking pictures and sorting these fish out. This is just silly. This is kind of what I had anticipated for this spot. But for it to actually come true, Pretty awesome. Just another little scrapper. Hopefully the bigger fish will push back in, but if not, it's been a great session.
All right, this is bordering on silly now. I, I can't even keep my camera straight. I don't know where my rod is. A little bit of chaos. I'm okay with it. Okay. It's starting to run low on battery on my main camera already. But uh, that's okay. At least I was getting footage the whole time. Just cast it out again. My rig didn't even hit the bottom. And it's off and I'm weeded again. Fighting like a smaller fish. Yeah. I can't keep my line in the water. I was so happy when I got here and saw the conditions. This is the kind of session you always have kind of running through your head before you get to a spot. So far it's working out. Fortunately I have to go to work after this. Scrapper. This has truly been a hectic session. I uh, I can't keep my line in the water. I'm not complaining. This guy's practically got mirror scales on the one side. Beautiful. Let's see if I can't show you these scales. It's got a little section there. It almost looks like a mirror. There's a big ship coming, and I gotta get out of here. Nice little scrapper. Maybe ten. 10 pounds maybe, 9 pounds, Thank <laughs> you.
Another scale perfect fish. Maybe 12 pounds for this one. It's just been an am amazing day. I'm only like two hours into this session. Uh, and I really have to go pretty soon, but it's just so hard when it's being so productive and it's very rewarding after uh, the place pretty much chewed me up and spit me out last time, so. This fish keeps weeding me up, so I'm gonna cut the camera now and uh, I'll try to release this fish or land this fish or something, but uh, I'll turn the ca camera back on when I figure out what's going on. Okay, uh, 30 minutes left in today's session and then I gotta head to work. Uh, the last fish broke me off. Uh, I think it managed to get underneath a rock after it weeded me up. Uh, so I think today I'm five for six so far, I believe. Uh, I've managed to put together uh, a great day. Uh, I've got the west wind in my face. It's uh, mid-twenties on September the 11th. So I've got a good couple weeks left uh, in the fall to, to really explore this spot further and uh, see what potential uh, it might have uh, to, to spit out a big fish or, or to continue, continue to produce numbers for me. But the fish have all been beautiful and uh, scale perfect, so uh, I'll be coming back here. The, uh, the last session here was, uh, was too much fun. <laughs> um, I was going to end the video there, but... Uh, now that the pressure's off and uh, I know the spot can produce, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let the cameras roll while uh, I put a couple hours in here. So just uh, getting everything sorted out, and uh, I'll have the rig in in just a minute here. So uh, if I don't get a bite right away, I might switch to a bottom bait. The clarity is uh, the clarity is really high today, and uh, Bluebird skies today, water's calm, uh, so if I don't get anything on the on the pineapple pop-up with the Ronnie rig, then I might uh, shoot out uh, I might shoot out a uh, muscle boily with a piece of ESP pop-up corn on it, and uh, see if that can do the business.
Two, uh, two super quick bites this morning. Uh, the baiting seems to have paid off. Either that or I've just picked a spot the fish like to hang out in the mornings. But uh, I'm going to try to pop this fish off, do a super quick pick and uh, get the rig back out and make take advantage of this morning bite. I haven't spotted or anything yet. It's really calm this morning. This guy must have been cleaning up my bait from yesterday. But uh, just a little guy, but hopefully with the quick recast, maybe I can pick off anybody else that's hanging around. This fish is a little bigger. Maybe not a giant, but definitely a bit bigger. The third take of the morning in like 20 minutes. I guess I don't need to switch to the bottom bait right yet. Going through all the weed beds. Just gonna stay steady with the pressure and hope for the best. Try not to slip on these rocks.
Okay. Here's fish number two. A little bit bigger. Fought like a demon. Not as big as I thought he thought he was, but I'm not complaining. This was a bonus. This was a bonus trip. And uh I can't complain. Scale perfect fish. Couple free hours. This is what a day off is supposed to be. <laughs> Alright. This fish feels pretty good. <laughs> no. Cormac, my swim still. So far he's not hurting things. <laughs> This might be a better fish. The only thing that makes me think it's not is... It was really energetic on the first run. Having a great morning. Another fish to the net. Gonna send him on his way.
This fish had a completely different feel to it before it weeded me up. Um, it felt really big. Obviously, if it's in the weeds, I can say whatever I want, but uh, I'm going to take my time with this one. I lost one in the previous session the same way, so uh, I'm going to sign off here and uh, I'm going to work at this for a bit. Okay, the fish is moving again. Boy fills the net. It's pretty deep. I might actually pull the scale out for this one just to see.
There's the rig. Same rig as I used last session. Same boiling, same pop up. Right out of the trunk. Size 4 Monster Carp Universal Perfection Hook. It's landed about a dozen fish so far. The last of which oh, is this guy. Who is super angry? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. This fish is not happy. But I am at his expense. Such an awesome shape to this fish. Wow. Uh, I'm officially done fishing today. Uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, I'm happy with this spot. It's basically turned out to be everything I thought it would. Um, I gotta get this fish back. But uh, I look forward to exploring some more new spots and hopefully they pay dividends like this. But uh, make sure you subscribe oh, to the Angler Files YouTube channel. Follow them on Instagram. Check out the Urban Carp Collective. Check out Monster Carp Tackle. But. Uh, Unfortunately, the scale was uh, not cooperating, so uh, I'm not even going to take a stab at this, but uh, I'm very happy with this fish. I'm going to send it on its way. Not my biggest fish, but uh, scale perfect. Fought like a demon, and uh, a great way to end any session. <laughs>